730, 92.1, WROI, WROI, FM.com. Streaming audio live on RTC Channel 5. Streaming audio and maybe video, Scotty? Yeah, we're doing our best. We're doing our best on RTC Channel 4. Good morning, Scott. Good morning, sir. Hey, welcome back to the studio. Always a pleasure. Uh, nice to have you here again. And of course, if you have an Android or a smartphone, you can download an app similar to the TuneIn Radio app and take us wherever you happen to be going, which of course today will be the First Federal Savings Bank, where you'll say hello to Mr. Dick Belcher. Hello, Tom. Hello, Mr. Belcher. Hello, Chris Brown. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Belcher. <laughs> Mr. Oh. God. We're awfully, awfully formal today, aren't we? <laughs> Boy, we had a great rain last night, Tom. Yeah, we did, depending on where you were. Yeah. Out of my house, I had two inches at the bank, half inch. We had an inch at our house, so yeah. somewhere in that vicinity somewhere throughout, that. yeah. That was a great rain. It was really getting dry. Very much so. <laughs> Help your business any? Uh, no, we don't like rain in our we business. Don't like rain. <laughs> we like snow. We'll take snow, but no rain. Okay, we're going to have Hillary and Donald. That's the way it looks right now. Woo. Conventions have not spoken yet, but that's the way it looks right now. So yeah, yeah. Bernie going to quit? He going probably to down. eventually. Right. Boy, he hangs in there. He did. He? Yeah, yeah, tough old guy. I see Hillary's been uh, endorsed now by the president sure. and Elizabeth Warren. Sure. I'm not sure that's good or bad. <laughs> I mean, you talk about a controversy. Well, I think she was on the short list to be the vice presidential nominee. Well, that was her own short list. She, ah, she made okay. that herself. I see. And Vice President Biden, he's right. He's jumping on the van. Oh, yeah. Thing, so. Yeah. Now, did you know that this is National Iced Tea Day? I did not. Yes, it is. It's good to know. It is. Yeah, I it thought really maybe is. you'd have some iced tea here. No, sorry. I should have had had I known that. Scott, did you, did know you that? bring any? I'm a huge Arizona tea fan. Are oh, you? Yeah. Okay. Hard to believe. Yeah. <laughs> How did we miss that? I don't know. You remember good thing last, you came in this morning. Last, <laughs> last Friday <laughs> it was uh, National Donut Day. I remember that, yeah. Okay. Absolutely worthless information. Oh, that's but, all right. Yeah. But uh, here we got a little trivia. Okay. Okay. Muhammad Ali, of course, passed away. Yes. Funeral's coming up here in an hour or two. Right. And uh, Bill Clinton's going to give the eulogy. Yes. What do you think he's going to say? Uh, he's going to talk about Ali. And tell him how great he was. Yes, indeed. The great one. That's right. The, the greatest. The greatest. I am the greatest. Right. Whew. Boy, there was no shortage of confidence <laughs> with him. <laughs> Well, anyway, how many times has Muhammad Ali been on this cover of Sports Illustrated? Is it 7, 17, or 37? Wow. We'll think about that. And, and he's a second. There's one person that's been on more often than really? that. We'll talk about that a little later. Okay. Time. I do know who that is, too. You? Yes, I do. Well, don't, don't tell anybody. <laughs> Actually, I know both answers this week. That's a shocker. <laughs> You're going to have to give him a free mirror if I get it. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> okay, Rochester High School has a new football coach, Joe Grant. Yeah, congratulations to him. The picture in the paper makes him look really mean. Yeah, it makes him look like a tough football coach. Yeah, doesn't it? looks yeah. like a coach. That's good. Yeah. That's good. I wonder if he's got tattoos. I don't know. Uh, he's former uh, North Miami. Yeah, North athlete. Miami. Grant. Right. Coming kind of back home. He's excited to be here, and we're excited to have him. Yeah. Rochester golf team uh, played in the regional. They got, uh, let's say, 10th. 10th out of 18. 10th out of 18. They won the sectional last right. week. And uh, that's the first time in 10 years that they've won right. that. And, won uh, it by a stroke. And uh, we had we had two tracksters at the state. We team. did. They did well. They did well. Eli Pugh and Wesley Meyer. Yeah. Congratulations to them. Eli Pugh. He's, he's so tall, I don't know. He's tall. I, you know, he's going to uh, Stanford. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. He's supposed to be a math major. Right. I, he is going to be a math major. Maybe he'll go into banking someday. That's just, uh, Banking's all about math, right? We don't want too smart people <laughs> in the banking field. Okay. <clears throat> okay, moving right along here. <clears throat> Okay, the Fulton County Community Foundation's 2016 scholarship reception and ice cream social is 5.30 p.m. June 21st at the large pavilion at the Round Barn Golf Club. So yeah, recipients of those scholarships are and their parents and the public is certainly invited. Nice event. 
Rochester Dairy Queen donates 10% of sales from 4 p.m. to closing Monday to the Fulton County Lions Club. The proceeds will help club pro uh, produce the August 6th Fulton Festival. That's the Fulton Liberty Lions right. Club, not Fulton County. Right. You know, they have that uh, nice little festival there. Mendon Flying Club annual pancake and sausage to breakfast is June 18th at the Fulton County Airport. Always a big hit. Yep. Breakfast is served 7 to 10. The airplane rides are given 9 a.m. to noon. Now you can get an airplane ride out there for 20 bucks. That's a good deal. Yeah. He used to charge by the pound, didn't they? I'd be in trouble. <laughs> Gonna say, <laughs> I don't know, they probably charge you maybe 30 bucks. Yeah, you. I could see that, yeah. okay. It'd be worth it though, wouldn't it? Yep, yes, <laughs> okay. Fulton County Historical Power Association and the Fulton County Historical Society have a workday Saturday at Fulton County Museum. Volunteers and members are welcome to help get the grounds ready for their power show, which is next weekend. Next weekend. Busy weekend next week. Oh, busy weekend. Oh, my. Lots of things going on, mm -hmm. like next Friday evening, the Bicentennial Parade. That's right. With the Bison. Starts at the high school, moves down Main Street, turns on 9th. Well, 9th, that's Main Street. Okay. 9th of Main. You know, they, you know, to be different, they should get a live bison. <laughs> Where do you get bison? That'd be pretty exciting. Where do you get a live one, Chris? Somewhere up by Bremen, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Don't they sell yeah, bison up there? So. Hmm. You get it, Dick. I'll ride it through the parade. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there you go. Hey, volunteer. Oh, man. Okay. And, of course, uh, see, the next Saturday is the triathlon. Right. And uh, let's see, the block party. Downtown block party. All right. Busy weekend. And the, and Sunday, the 19th, is Father's, Father's Day. Father's Day. We had a lot of things going well, on. Busy weekend. Whew. Okay, Grace Church Bible School, June 20th to 24th. St. John's Lutheran uh, Barnyard Roundup Bible School is 6 to 8 p.m. Uh, Monday through Friday. Uh, this Thursday coming up. Akron United Methodist Church is hosting a fundraising breakfast from 7 to 9 a.m. Saturday at their Fellowship Hall for the Conley family. Akron residents Troy Conley <coughs> has stage 4 esophagus cancer. A workshop designed to help the city become a more healthy and active community for all ages and abilities is uh, August the 18th. That's okay. the date coming up. And they got some. You know, the uh, that's sponsored by uh, Purdue Extension okay. uh, along with the Woodlawn Hospital. Uh, the health situation in uh, Fulton County is not as good as we would like for it to be. Exactly, and that kind of trends through the whole state. Yeah, but the, the, <clears throat> Fulton County's one of the leaders up there. Right. So hopefully they can uh, work on that. <clears throat> okay, we, we've we've talked about this in the past, but it, it's grass clippings. Okay. I, I c continually see people catching the grass clippings, set them out on the curb. Right. Put them. Just let them go back on your lawn. Mulch them. You, you got. You got sure. the mulch there. Sure. You got some nutrients. Plus, you're not filling up landfills and right. all that stuff. So, I've given my lecture there. <laughs> it's good for your strawberry patches too. Isn't sure. It? Yeah. You got strawberries. I can't bend over that far. <laughs> <laughs> Well, how do you know it's good for strawberry patches? I've seen people do that, I believe. <laughs> well, just because you've seen them do it, that doesn't mean it's wonderful. Well, that's good. But I think good point. that or straw is good. Okay, 95-year-old uh, Glenn Cleland passed yeah. away. Yeah, we had him on our, uh, we here had several him. times. You bet. Great guy. He was. Super good. Yeah. He was, uh, of course, a prisoner of war in World War II, and uh, he liked I wouldn't say like to talk about it, but uh, he wasn't reluctant. He was very, very candid. Yeah, very much so. 
Phil and Katie McCarter are celebrating their 60th wedding anniversary. You bet. Happy anniversary. Gary and Marlene Nellens celebrate their 50th wedding anniversary Sunday. Excellent. Hmm. How many years have you been married? 23. You sure? In October. Huh. You know, so you're shocked I know that day. <laughs> I, have, <laughs> I have no way of verifying it as to whether it's correct I believe you, Chris. or not. <laughs> I believe you. <clears throat> okay. The disabled veterans of Indiana presented certificates of accommodation to Rochester firefighters Justin Melton and Dave Lawson during the right. DAV State Convention. Uh, they did some great things and saving some people right. and, and congratulations to them. Some flowers also to uh, Eli Pugh and Addison Sarver, their valedictorians of Rochester and Caston okay. schools and uh, they've been named 2016 Indiana Academic All-Stars by the Indiana Association of Schools. Excellent. I have some flowers. Okay. I want to give some flowers to First Federal Savings Bank because of the landscaping that you've done outside of the new section and in fact all the way around the building. Yeah. It really looks nice. It look nice. It really looks nice. Shrove Nurseries did that. Well, they did an excellent job because it's a really nice presentation. <clears throat> Mitch Melton, he's in charge. He says, school trained guy from Purdue. That's why it looks so good. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the secret is water. Sure. And uh, we got uh, watering under that, underneath the uh, soil, and so it's good. I need to finish up yeah. before I was so rudely interrupted. Sorry about that. <laughs> Eli is going to Stanford and uh, Addison to okay. Purdue. Very good. Okay, money news. <clears throat> Dow still uh, flirting with 18,000. It pops up there yesterday, it closed at 17,985. The uh, chairman of the Federal Reserve still is waffling on when she's going to raise rates. Right. Everybody uh, two, three weeks ago thought it'd be June. Now there's, mm, no, not going to happen in June. So we'll see. Okay, I'm not sure where this comes under money news, but I think it does. Are you familiar with the play Hamilton? Yes. It's nominated for a record 16 Tony Awards, which will be given away Sunday evening. Okay. They've raised the prices on their tickets. Probably. Yeah. Eight forty-nine. Yeah. That's not eight dollars and forty-nine. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> In New York, that play is sold out currently through January. Wow. Maybe we could get them to come to Rochester. Oh, uh, probably. You could probably pack the auditorium. Yeah. Yeah. At eight hundred and forty-nine dollars a ticket. <laughs> 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 well, I heard on a public radio where <clears throat> scalpers were selling them. Oh, I'll bet. Big even, time. Even yeah. more than that. Oh sure. yeah, five thousand. Right. Wow. So. <clears throat> That separates the men from the boys. Yes, it does. Yeah. Going down to First Federal, we're open today until 5 p.m. and tomorrow until 8.30. ATM is always open. We're sending out postcards that are going to be mailed out. Uh, you may receive them today in reference to our ATM debit card uh, that we're changing to the MasterCard. Right. And uh, this is a heads up. This won't happen until July. Uh, several reasons to switch from Visa to, to MasterCard. Uh, you're going to get, I think, better service and there's uh, more security and we investigated that quite thoroughly uh, more than a year ago. So even though I get the card now... No, you're not going to get the card now. I'm not going to get the card now. You're going to okay. get a postcard. Okay, saying that the card saying, is coming. Yeah, yeah. A card saying that okay. another card is coming. What do I do with the old one then? <clears throat> the old Visa card? Yeah. Just destroy, cut it up? Destroy it. Okay. I just want to be sure I've got all this down correctly. Right. Yeah. I may have to make some notes. Well, we'll I'll keep you abreast. <laughs> Will you? Thank you. Know, you. Week by Good. week, yeah. Our Bremen branch is having their customer appreciation day today. If you're going through Bremen, stop in and you can get, uh, you can get yourself a uh, lunch. And uh, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. It's a good time to buy a home or refinance your home. Rates stay low, and uh, we're seeing a lot of increase in uh, 
uh, demand for uh, construction loans, that's, and that's really a good sign. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. First Federal is FDIC insured and an equal housing lender, and our MLS number is 39 or 9 or 9 or 27. Chris Brown, welcome. We're glad to have you here. You're former governor of the Moose. Correct. Uh, and, and wore many hats in that place. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. You, you're going to have the lake opening tomorrow? Uh, yes. We have opening of the lake tomorrow. It's our $2,500 drawing. We give away a, a one grand prize of $1,000, five 100s, 1050s, and 2025s. So. The, uh, oh, no, yeah. Now, what, what, do you, what do I have to do to be a candidate to win the $2,500? <laughs> uh, a $10 donation gets you a meal and a chance to win money. $10? $10. All for a million. There you go. $10. So that's, that's, and that would be Saturday evening? That's Saturday evening. Okay. The uh, drawing starts at dinner is 5 to 7, and the drawing starts at 6.30. But before that, we have the infamous boat parade led by Tom and Sue Bear. We'll be there. Well, I might actually find my way to the boat parade. Excellent. Year. We're not going to be gone now. All right. And I Excellent. know you need help navigating around the lake. It may. <laughs> We're going to leave the moose at 1 o'clock and go north, my understanding is. Leave the moose at 1 o'clock and go north. If you haven't got your entry numbers, usually today's a busy day right. for the entry numbers for boats. Well, there are prizes, right? There are prizes. Right. There are three hundred dollars for first, two hundred dollars for second, and a hundred dollars for third. Excellent. And it seems like we have last year seven, seven eight, or eight. Maybe. Yeah, it was a better year last year for participation. A few years back, it wasn't such a better year, but people come and go. I talked to one family who normally works, spends, dedicates pretty much their whole week and eat to it. They said this year it was her mom's turn, and they're going to fly by the seat of their pants. <laughs> ah, there you go. It's <laughs> going to be a great day for it. It'll be warm, oh, oh, it's going to be a great day. Our entertainment starts at 9, and that's Ike from Indy, which you're very familiar yeah. with. Yeah. Nice guy. Yeah, he is. Great, good, one, good great entertainment. one man band yeah. entertainment. So you going to be inside? Yes, we will be right. inside. Okay. So that, that takes care of that. We'll have a designated driver with a sham, or with a sham with a van donated okay. from Shepherds. So we always provide that service. Um, some of the other things happening in the lodge, July 2nd, we have our $18,000 drawing, which we give away one $10,000 prize and uh, 16 $500 prizes and limit the tickets to 300 sold. Okay. We are two thirds through them already sold. So that's a good deal. And how much are those tickets? Those are one hundred dollars a piece. Okay. Kind of like going to the play in New York. <laughs> <laughs> but more return. <clears throat> more return. And you know when when we started that, it's like, eh, I don't know. We'll see. But right. it's amazing. We don't have have any problems selling them. I know the Elks does it too. They have a good job at it. Um, we have a band called Frito Pack. It's out of it's a family kind of out of the region in northwest Indiana. They're, we've had them there once before. We had them for last Halloween, and they are just an awesome band Good. also. What other things? I'm not, I don't have Dina to make me as organized as you, yeah, so, yeah. so I had to uh, write my stuff down here. So we also have, let's see, oh, the Nick Patterson Memorial coming up with Clayton Anderson on August 6th. That always is a good fundraiser for the it Patterson is. Fund. Right. That's uh, a golf outing, is that right? That there is also a golf outing, but that is not August sixth. Okay. This is their band fundraiser that they do at the Moose, and they do a very nice job. Kyle and Austin and that crew does right. just a super job getting that together. The guys that were in the class with Nick. Yep, they are all his classmates. Classmates. They, uh, I think, the golf outing is a week or two before that, but. Then also, people know this guy, Corey Cox. He's another up-and-coming country guy. We're going to have him September 24th at the lodge. So. Well, you got lots of things going on. Yeah. Okay. How how many years or how long have you done the the, the lake opening, the parade of boats? Oh, oh, parade. It's long time. Uh, it's long, long time. The lodge is 104 years old, but I don't think we've done the boat parade that many years. 
Okay. I want to say probably in the 70s it started, would be my guess. It's one question I've never been asked. Okay. I, I won't ask you any more tough questions. <laughs> well, I know we've been broadcasting it for about the last 20 years or so, so I know it goes way back, back before, before that. that. Sure. You're going to broadcast from the boat? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, we're going to pull up to other boats. <clears throat> Not only that, we're going to have Scott on the boat doing some taping for uh, RTC. Okay. So, yeah, eventually you'll be able to see some of that on Channel 4. Okay, you got a lot, of, you're giving a lot of money away. Yes, we do give a lot of money away. Okay, and uh, you tell us a little bit about some of your other projects that, that you support during the year. Uh, obviously, one that's near and dear to me, the baseball park, which sure. you guys are all supporters of. The Women of the Moose, they have various projects that they support throughout the year. We do a lot of... Uh, just a lot of community effort in things we do, and I'm at a loss for words. You do things with scholar tell. scholarships and things like that. Yes, Chris? we do. Okay. Thank you, Tom. Okay. Yeah, we give okay. away scholarships. Not last year we only gave away I think two or three. The year before I think we did six. Okay, that'll so vary. That that always that always sure. varies. Sure, but we we have a very good turnout, very good member base. Uh, our male members are almost 900 strong I think our women are four or five hundred so we're I believe we are currently the fourth largest lodge in the state okay maybe number okay. three the we're speaking also. this morning to Chris Brown a former governor of the moose and is talking a little bit about some of the activities of, of the moose that things are going on the most uh, the one coming up is the quickest of course is Saturday and uh, with the parade. Moose Bills itself, Chris, is the family center, Moose Family Center. What does that mean exactly? Well, <clears throat> when our kids were growing up, it was a big deal. We'd be able to take them somewhere and, and enjoy enjoy ourselves. And it's a big, we're kid-oriented. We do all kinds of parties for okay. the kids. Um, it's great because you can bring your kid out, especially in the summertime, bring your child out. You can enjoy the beach, enjoy our outside deck. It's very nice. Uh, it, it's just great. You can go. We were one of the first facilities to go smoke free, so that is a that was a big deal to us. So, sure, yeah, that's sure. good. That's good. Yeah, I, and he got a great beach there for family it, members. It is a great beach. Um, which we speak, Kenny Anderson, the next day or so, will be tilling that up. Okay. He does that a few times a year for us and donates his time. Makes it look really nice and spiffy. <laughs> okay. But you, but you need to be a member, right? Yes. Okay. Now, for opening of the lake and our big events, right. they, they are open to the public. Right. But we would definitely like for you to be a sure. member. Sure. Okay. Now, one thing that we haven't talked about is coming up next Saturday, a week from Saturday, is the triathlon. And yes. I know that's on your beach. Yep. That is on our beach. We've hosted that since its inception. I believe this is... The fourth year, the only reason why I know that is it popped up on my Facebook timeline because I actually did it the first year. <laughs> <laughs> and that, but that grows each year, too. It grows each yes, year. It does. Scott, Scott does a great job. Scott Stahlbaum and the crew, they do a really, really, really nice they job. Do. And there's a lot of work on, that goes into that. Um, they do many meetings, many organizational meetings, many emails. It, they just put a lot of sure blood, sweat, and tears in that. And they'll be out there late Friday night setting stuff up. And we start uh, res registration yeah. at 6 a.m. Saturday. So that means they're usually there way before that. Right. So it's it's a lot of uh, blood, sweat, and tears and money. And money, uh, yep. There's a lot of money donated yeah. towards that. It's a great, great event. And uh, that goes from, I think, four-year-olds on up. Yep. Yes, it does. They have the kids' triathlon, which is fun. It's fun to see their sense of accomplishment, and I think it's. I think as time goes on, it's just going to build those kids into triathletes. Well, you swim, you bike, and you run. Order yeah. of danger: drown, crash, <laughs> fall. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Chris Brown, you, you made the statement a little bit ago. You were lost for words. You never. <laughs> <laughs> you never okay. 
Well, you mentioned a little bit about baseball. I know you and your family have been involved with the baseball program going back to your dad. How's it thriving this year? It is going very well. Dave Clark is the current president. He's doing a very nice job. The uh, My two nephews and niece, three nephews and niece are very heavily involved in it still. Greg and I have kind of taken a step back, but then I have my two boys and myself. We still coach a team. We don't even have a kid in the league. Okay, <laughs> all right. Then about how many uh, uh, kids would be involved in the program? I haven't heard a complete number, but I'm going to say 350. Okay, good. That's, that's usually a pretty consistent number. How'd your dad get interested in that? Not really sure. <laughs> Maybe because we live two blocks from the ballpark? Okay. I don't know. Probably always a big baseball fan. Always a huge baseball fan. Yeah, he was a great individual, great Thank supporter of, yeah. of the youth ba uh, baseball, and you guys are carrying carrying the ball. Yeah, we do. It's it's fun. We explained to the team last night, we have nothing in this. We're just here to help you guys, <laughs> yeah. which means we didn't play very well. <laughs> <laughs> well said. Well said. Chris Brown. Thank you for stopping by and thank Thanks you for, for having your me. contributions you make to the community through the moose and through the baseball and many, many other things. Appreciate Opening the Lake Boat Parade tomorrow starts from the moose at 1 o'clock and there are always a lot of folks on the lake. There are a lot of folks on the shore. So plan now to step out and take a look at that because it's always fun. It is very fun. And you make sure you get the WR. That's right. Tune in the radio station, right? Yeah, and exactly. television. But you make sure you get the banner on the correct side. I, of the, I intend to do that. Okay. Yes, right. I intend to do that. <laughs> All right. Our trivia this morning is: How many times has uh, Muhammad Ali's picture been on Sports Illustrated cover? Seven, seventeen, or thirty-seven? Oh, thanks, guy. Stop it! I'm going with seventeen. I am too. 30, yes, 37. No 30, kidding. Wow. Is it 37? Wow. Michael Jordan's the number one. That, on you're the, right. right. You got that. Yeah. You got that wow. correct. Now, just a little other little trivia about him. Ali, as an amateur, was 100 wins, 5 losses. And as a professional, 56 wins and 5 yeah. losses. He was on the cover of Time Magazine 4 or 5 times as well. I don't know about that. Yeah. In addition to the Sports Illustrated. Yeah. Okay, let's close with these words of wisdom from Horace Walpole. He's an English author. Ever hear of him? No. Scott took a uh, couple of classes. Okay, that, well, uh, you guys are sophisticated think. enough. <laughs> <laughs> Imagination was given to man to compensate him for what he isn't. A sense of humor was provided to console him for what he is. <laughs> well said. Dick Belter, thank you very much. Chris Brown, Scott, thanks for being in the studio on the First Federal Program. Buying your first home? Let the experts at First Federal Savings Bank help you through the process. At First Federal, all of their mortgage loans are serviced locally with payment options that are convenient for you. Their staff will work with you answering your questions and providing professional service. First Federal will even pay standard closing costs for qualifying first-time home buyers. Just another way, First Federal takes care of you, your local mortgage lender.